Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode with Digimon Walker. In today's video, what I am doing is I was going to show you, this is my very first Digivice from about 1999 or early 2000. Is, as you can tell, the buttons are kind of yellowish. No, it doesn't work right now. Um, I don't have the batteries in. But this was uh, pretty much my first Digivice. In all honesty, um, I had the Digivice of Courage, but at the time I didn't know that uh, the colors represented the crest. Uh, and so I was kind of upset that it was orange and blue. And I wanted to try to get the most accurate Digivice there was. So in my mind, it was the blue and white Digivice, which you know, they didn't have a gray one or a light blue one at the time. But um, anyways, um, a lot of wear and tear on it as well. As you can see, the, the belt clip is broken off of it. Uh, I tried a long time ago as a kid to even super glue it back. And that would work for a period of time. And uh, then it would just break off again. Uh, but yeah. Uh, if you have digivices from a long time from years ago uh, 20 years ago or so it's always a good idea to just go ahead and take the batteries out of them um, and that way this will prevent it from battery acid build up and then that would destroy the electronics and uh, then but the good news is is i have placed batteries in this one here recently and it does still work so um that's the cool thing about it now um I don't know if it came out. What I'm going to be showing you today is my replacement that I got about 10 years ago. So this was like the Digivice 1.0. Um, evidently there is a, Vigi, a Digivice 2.0 that came out. And then there was a Digivice 2.5, which ended up being this one right here. Now I got this one because yes, they finally made it in gray. The most screen accurate, to my knowledge, um, as of yet and the big difference and these are both the American versions and how you can tell is because the the screen that uh, displays the pixels um, is a lot smaller than the Japanese versions uh, now the big difference between this one and this one other than the color is that uh, Agumon both Agumon and um, Gabumon can digivolve to their uh, mega forms okay and so uh, I recently achieved that I'll show you here Oops. go to states enter Let's check out the attack so then what you can do okay, put this down there's Agumon attack of one attack power Greymon attack of two power metal Greymon attack of four and then ward Greymon with an attack of six so that's what that's the reason why I got this one because as a kid it always kind of bugged me that I could not uh, uh, warp digivolve to ward Greymon and I would always I was just like well if I just have enough courage and I would just kind of pretend or uh, play along and but I always dreamed that, man, that would be so awesome if it just magically, if Agumon just magically warp digivolved on this one. Never happened. But anyways, um, also here is, let's show you Gabumon. Pack one, pack two, that's a Garurumon, Wear Garurumon, and then Metal Garurumon. And so, yeah. And those are the only two that I believe that can warp Digivolve. Another big difference is, is on the Digivice 1.0, you have uh, Gatomon instead of Salamon. Okay, so in the 2.5, it starts you off with Salamon instead of Gatomon. And then you have to Digivolve during an uh, attack to Gatomon, then Angelomon, and then finally, I cannot remember which one that one is, but uh, but yeah, that's considered, I guess, the mega level for Gatomon. So here we go. Let's. Uh, oh, I got a new mat in today. 
Omnimon. This is for the new uh, Digimon card game. And uh, I saw it on Amazon uh, and I just had to get my hands on one. And I thought it looked cool in the background as well. And uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's do a Digi battle for the day. And you know the drill. You just gotta shake up the Digivice and off we go. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, here's the thing with the new Digimon movie, Last Evolution Kuzuna. Uh, it's not, it, here's my theory, okay? Both Agumon and Tai, okay, uh, okay, number one, if you do not want to be spoiled, do not watch this video until you have watched the movie, okay? That's your warning, and I'm about to give the spoiler now, so don't turn it, turn off the video if you do not want to be spoiled. Both Tai and Agumon and Gabumon, and I believe Matt, even says in the last part of the movie at some part of the movie that they will they have a feeling that they're going to see each other again so that is pretty cool because as you know in adventure 02 series the last episode uh they're all grown up all the kids all the digestion kids are grown up with their children with uh their digimon so when uh minoa the girl that um uh, basically is the uh, the bad guy of the film when she explains why they lose their Digimon as they grow up uh, or why the Digimon choose kids as partners she says it's because they have so much potential and so much power in their decisions that allow the Digimon to grow and digivolve um, and as you become an adult you lose quote unquote said potential which is kind of true. Um, as you become an adult, you get locked in your own ways, in your career path. But here's my theory. Here's an awesome theory. Listen to this. Whenever you have children, what do you do? You end up reliving your childhood again through the eyes of your own children. Thus, not only does your children have potential, but that gives you more a sense of potential, a childlike wonder again. And therefore, in my theory, Agumon is able to come back to Tai again because he gains new potential. He sees new potential through the eyes of his children and uh, a childlike wonder. And I think that is how, and I believe, how Agumon and Gabumon will both come back to Tai and Matt. So I think that's a cool theory. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for me. And uh, shout out to Jesse the other day. Sorry for the uh, raw, unedited video. That was like just minutes after I got done watching the first, uh, my first viewing of Kizuna. And I was just in a funk. Uh, 2020, man been a year of uh i mean whenever thanos snapped he really snapped <laughs> uh, first we had logan back in 2016 or 17 that was a crazy depressing movie and then in avengers infinity war in 2018 avengers endgame 2019 and this year it is digimon last evolution he's in a all right, so let's try to get a battle here going before I hit overtime. So yeah, let, oh, here we go. All right, it is digi time. Let's go, Agumon. Ooh, Dark Tyrannomon. All right, so um, for this one, let's just do a regular Digivolution. Ooh, come on, Omnimon. Help us out. Greymon. Pokemon, Digivolve 2. Greymon. You gotta push, 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 push. There you go. Take that, Dark Tyranimon. Yeah, we'll fight him again, because... There ain't no way he's coming back from that. And I don't want to have to use the digi points. Oh, 
Ty, Ty. We did it. Okay, that was terrible. But anyways, uh, let's check out our distance. 10,000 steps, almost 11,000 steps until we face the boss. Uh, we've taken that many so far, and we still have 96 power. So we had 99 before we digivolved. Uh, the first digivolution is just a 3 D power, a minus 3, so it's not that bad. And I have not been able to battle with anybody, so I'm sitting at a 0% for 0 um, in the versus mode. Uh, and we'll check out the map. Let you know this is where I am currently sitting in the map. We are working all the way through, and uh, the big boss battles are the, especially in the Digivice 2.5, you have to be a lot more strategic with your Digivolutions and how much D power you have, I've noticed. Uh, not so much with the 1.0 Digivice, it was just always like, I could always look at my D power and I'd be at 99 before I faced the next opponent. With this one, especially when you warp Digivolve, it takes like 20 D power or something like that. And uh, so you it, you can't warp Digivolve with every opponent that you meet because if you do that, then at the end of the stage, you'll have zero D power. So you really have to be strategic with this and know what you're doing. So I do appreciate that because it does feel like a, a different game uh, with this Digivice 2.5. Uh, I am excited uh, about my new Digivice that I ordered, the Digivice Complete from Premium Bandai. I bought one for me, one for my daughter, and one for my brother for Christmas, although that uh, Digivice is not expected to ship, I don't think, until February of 2021, which is a bummer. And then um, I also ordered the Digivice 2020, which is not supposed to ship until February or March of 2021. And uh, so, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm still going to just really appreciate the Digivice Complete the best. Uh, one, because I did not have enough money to buy the Digivice 15th uh, Anniversary Edition. I had no idea any, about anything called Premium Bandai at the time. And then whenever you go on eBay or Amazon, they're like 500, 600, 300 dollars. And I was just like, okay. I don't want to spend that much, for, especially for one Digivice. Uh, I didn't want, even want to spend a hundred bucks for the ones, but I, I'm, I am glad that I'm able to put my hands on one of those and hopefully have them uh, come February or March. Um, I am also trying to think about getting the Omnimon uh, collectible action figure that's on their website as well. I mean, they are just janking my bank account. It's it's highway robbery they know what they're doing good job and uh you're hitting us uh in the nostalgic feelings for sure so anyways let me got let me know what you guys think about the movie about premium bandai products um and uh about my theory uh i think it's a, a viable theory uh because i don't think that they would retcon the finale uh of adventure o2 uh, so let me know what you guys think, or if you have any theories out there, I would love to hear them and uh, convince me otherwise. Um, that's the way that I'm heading with that. That's the way I believe so far, um, because Digimon has always been about positivity and light and hope. And uh, yes, this movie did leave off with a little bit of hope, but man, never have I cried so much on a Digimon episode or movie but uh, anyways uh, stay tuned for the next adventure uh, following me and Algamon on the Digivice 2.5 I will be posting uh, regularly pretty much every once every two nights and thanks